What's going on you guys, it's your boy the FWTI to the Biggie here once again for our new video and this one is my result show from NXT TakeOver The End. Um, I did do a predictions video a couple of days ago on the night of NXT TakeOver and I did say that I would do a reactions video to it so I just thought I'd quickly get into it straight away so... Oh, so this to start off with the first match tonight, which was Ty Dillinger versus Andreas Almas. Um, and yeah, this match was obviously um, Andreas's debut. Um, I'll be honest, as debut go, it wasn't the greatest of debuts. Um, he came out looking like a mixture between uh, Savio Vega when he was in the loss for week, because if you guys remember that, and along the way he kind of pinched the Godfather's hat. Um, along the way and thought it'd be a good idea to wear this godfather looking hat and some lost of a week was kind of outfit or he might have just gone to the same shop as no way jose maybe i really don't know um the ring entrance dress up was it wasn't there for me um then he took it all off to just expose himself in these bright blue and white trunks and it just didn't do nothing for me. Ty Dillinger put in a great effort, came out, rocked the crowd. The crowd were big into Ty Dillinger as normal with the 10 and everything. Um, they need to start pushing Ty and, and giving him something different because like, the crowd are really behind him. And to be honest, I'm, I'm a fan of Dillinger as well, but they can't keep on using him with a high-class job. I mean, the, the fans are buying into it, so they should use it. The, the whole 10 and everything and... On NXT a couple of weeks ago, when he was counting the free count going into takeover, he got the free count and they were going 10, 10, 10 every time. So they need to do something with him. Right? But it wasn't a great debut. Um, there was a couple of spots where I was thinking, what the hell is going on? Where he done a flip across the ring and then hit Dillinger on the back with two foot and feet. And it was just like, what is going on here? What is this? It wasn't the greatest of matchups. Um, but Almas got the win on his debut. And yeah, that's all I can really say about it. So next up we had the American Alphas defending the NXT title against the rival. Now this match for me I would probably say turned out to probably be the best match of the night. Um, the American Alphas as normal were in your face, high flying and fast action and so were the revival to be honest. Um, I predicted that the American Alphas would retain their titles on this one, um, but for anyone that hasn't watched it, spoiler alert, because the Revivals are the first ever NXT two-time champions. So the Revivals won. It was a great matchup. Um, I thought towards the end it went a bit sloppy with the changeover of moves um, into the finish. It looked a bit, I don't know if it was just going a bit too fast or uh, JJ just couldn't keep up with it when it was changing over. Um, so yeah, but it was an awesome matchup to be honest. It was by far the best matchup of the night. Um, unfortunately for me, the American half was lost. But that's the way it goes. And the Revival are now two-time champions. Um, at the end of this match, two guys come out and attack the American Alphas. Um, I can only guess that these two guys are the ones that they brought in from New Zealand into the Performance Centre. Um, Full Style University crowd let me down on this one because when they were getting the beat down by these guys, the American Alphas, um, Paul Ellery, the former manager of the LOD, came out. Legendary Hall of Famer, I might add. And they decided to start chanting who are you um to be honest i always thought full sale university was a crowd that knew their wrestling but guys you showed yourself up on this one you should know who Paul Ellery is for me it was a massive figure in Paul Ellery there i was like wow this Paul Ellery what's this guy doing here so you know crowd you let yourself down on that one you should be ashamed of yourself so the american alphas lost their titles and it's now in the hands of the revival up next, we had Shinshe Nakamura versus A Double Austin Aries. Um, I predicted this match would be the match of the night. Um, it was all right. It didn't live up to the classic that I was hoping it would be. Um, it wasn't great, I'll be honest. It was a bit slow. Um, a Double, I don't know what's going on with him in NXT, but I don't feel he's coming across like he did when he was in TNA. Um, I don't know if it's because at the minute he's playing a face and he makes a great heel. Um, so I don't know if they just need to change his character into being a heel. I really don't know on that one. Um, but it's just something's missing. It's not working for Austin Erez, um, to be honest, in NXT. 
uh, Sinjay Nakamura got the win, obviously, as predicted. Um, the last bit at the end was really, really good with a Death and Valley driver, a Death and Valley driver by Austin Erez, um to Nakamura on the outside, and then Nakamura then. Austin Erez went for a dive through the ropes that he missed and hit the barricade and then Shinsuke Nakamura took over and hit the hit the big finish and got the one two three. Um it was a good match. It wasn't great like I expected, um, but the outcome was exactly what I expected. So it was a good match nevertheless, so it just wasn't the classic that I was hoping for. Next up was Asuka versus Nia Jax now. This one, I didn't know how it was going to go. Um, to be honest, I was a bit concerned about this one. I wasn't sure how it was going to go. But it wasn't a bad match. Um, Asuka basically got dominated for most of it. To be honest, Nia Jax was a dominant force. Um, it, was, it was a bit weird. It was like a return of roles. Because obviously, so far, Asuka has been a dominant force. Ass kicking. And it, it seemed to be turned the other way to be Nia Jax on this occasion. Um, but yeah, Asuka got a win in the end. It was, again, it was another good match it wasn't a great match but it was a good match um so i don't know what they've got in store for takeover um brooklyn because obviously i thought they were going to run with the bailey ask a rematch so maybe they're taking a claim for a triple threat i don't know or who knows what's going to happen after this brand split and and obviously the draft and that lot but Nia Jax unfortunately didn't get the win Asuka retains her title and that leads us to one thing and one thing only the main event. Now, the main event was Finn Balor, the Demon, taking on Samoa Joe in a steel cage match. First time ever on an NXT show, the steel cage was used. Um, this one was a, was a decent match. Um, would I say it's probably the best out of the three they've had at a takeover? Possibly. I mean, it, it was better than the one at Dallas, to be honest. I mean, the Dallas one was hampered by the injury. Um, it was a decent cage match, and, and the finish for me was quite amazing seeing the the muscle buster off of the top of the cage um was a big wow moment for me i did actually fear for finn's life when he when samojo came down on him so you know finn played it well where you know he, he sold it well with the having the trainer come out at the end and looking like he was injured and that lot um so yeah it was it was it was a good main event um i'll be honest i'm a big fan of finn Balor, but i do feel the the demon kind of thing is running a bit past its time now if you know what I mean um, you just kind of know now when the takeover events come around the demon's going to show up even though if there's no merit for it I kind of think now the demon should go into the closet a bit more and only be brought out when Finn really needs him um, I don't feel of late the demon's been any different to a normal Finn Balor so I don't think that's helped the case either um, but you just expect now a takeover that, that the demon's going to turn up um, and it's just not it's just wearing a bit thin for me at the minute even though I'm a big Finn Balor fan so hopefully we can put the demon away for a while and save him for a for a day where Finn needs to go to that special place to get the win and I didn't feel the storyline building up to this one we really had that um, so nevertheless it was a great match it was a great effort by Samoa Joe and Finn Balor the NXT TakeOver in a nutshell wasn't a bad one. It was actually quite a good one. Um, it wasn't the best one, um, but it was a decent show. I'd give it a full kind of B+. Plus. It done its job. Um, it showed the new talent off. It was just, it was the A-Double versus Nakamura match. It didn't live up to the hype. Maybe they got told not to outshine the the main event. I really don't know. Um, but I just feel there's that's, that's something missing from A-Double in... NXT so yeah I'd like to know what you guys thought of the show um, so obviously put down in the comments what you guys thought of the NXT TakeOver um, I'm looking forward to the next one obviously now they're in tour in the UK for the next couple of weeks so yeah guys let me go know what you think and remember to like, subscribe, share